Hey folks, hope you're having a great uh, Wednesday. This is my seventh video, you know, Sitting with God, A Journey to Your True Self Through Centering Prayer has now been out um, almost seven weeks. Excited, today I had my 30th Amazon review, so it's very exciting. Um, keep the reviews coming, you know, as you make your way through the book or as you finish the book, you know, please take a minute and write a short, honest, couple sentence review on Amazon. I would greatly appreciate it. And it will help others that are that want to check out the book and see or discern if it's a book that they might want to read. So please, please um, do a book review on Amazon and Goodreads. So this is the seventh video uh, on my book. The first one was an overview of the book. And then I'm just going chapter by chapter, talking a little bit about each chapter. So chapter six is my emerging understanding of God in Christ. And in this chapter, I just talk about, you know, who God is. Who is this God? What has this God meant to, to me, you know, from a young age in my teens through my 40s, and I'm presently 54. So I talk about in the early years that God was up in the sky and looking down at me. And then I talk about my high school years where I was at a Baptist youth group um, with a lot of friends, and I had a lot of fun in that group, and my understanding of God during that time being part of a Christian Baptist group, Bible-based Baptist group. Then I talk about post-high school. I went to a Christian group in um, college for about a year, and then I took a break, and I took a leave of absence from God, I could say. I wasn't sure what I thought, so I took a break. And then after I graduated from school and started working, I ended up joining the United Church of Christ. And they are, this, that church was a more progressive, inclusive church. So I learned a lot there. And then as I got into my 40s, I really began exploring um, Christianity and authors. And in my mid 40s discovered silence, and I actually discovered it through Cara McCol reading some Cara McCullman books. And then I came across Centering Prayer, and that's really where things changed for me with God. You know, God moved from being up in the sky looking down at me and someone that I was afraid of and fearful of and wondered, am, am I doing right or wrong in front of this God? to a God that is not only with me, but is in me, and a God that loves me, and a God that is so delighted when I come to center in prayer and sit with um, God. And then I end the chapter talking about, um, I was seeing as a really neat nun for a while for spiritual direction, and I talk about an exercise she put me through where work was very hectic and life was very hectic and she challenged me on a piece of paper to write down my name and then vent and unload to God. What's bothering me? What's weighing on my mind? Why am I uh, anxious, upset? And then she said when I was done to put the word God and then wow, well, how would God respond? And initially I thought she was crazy. Who am I to speak for God? But I took her up on it and it was, and I've done this exercise numerous times and I share my experience of what God spoke to me in my journaling, and I share that in my book. So that's really a little bit about chapter six. It's really how my spiritual life has evolved, what my thoughts on God are, and how they've moved and evolved over time to where they are now. And I'm sure if I spoke to you in five or ten years, there would be some more movement and some more change as well. So thought it would be fun also to answer the questions at the end of the chapter. At the end of each chapter, I have questions for discussion and reflection. So I'll read the ones I have here for chapter six, and I'll answer them for me. So who is God for you? How has your experience of God changed over the years? Well, I did talk about that. I talked about God has changed from up in the sky, looking down at me, a God that I'm a little bit nervous and fearful of, and wondering what does this God think of me? to a God that is not up in the sky looking down at me, but a God, that, a God that is within me, a God that acts within me during centering prayer, and a God that walks with me 
every day in my daily life. So God is a presence and a very close presence, always with me and within me and helping me make actions or take actions throughout the day. Now, what practices have helped you better connect to God? Well, obviously for me, centering prayer. I believe centering prayer helps me become my true self. I believe during centering prayer, God prays in me the actions God wants me to take. But I also do verbal prayer, and I also do the Jesus prayer. Three, do you, have a, do you think a spiritual director can help you on your journey? Why or why not? I would say yes, and in fact, I, at some point I'll probably find another spiritual director. It's just someone that's a few steps ahead of you, and they can listen to you and bring a perspective that you have never seen or heard before. And they can hear things from you um, and see things from you that you don't recognize. And they can ask you good questions and they can challenge you. Four, do you think posing questions to God and then writing God's response can assist you on your journey? Why or why not? So again, that's where I was talking about at the end of this chapter six. I talked about a journaling exercise this nun, my spiritual director, put me through. Um, and yes, I, I think it was a wonderful exercise. Um, and I just let go. And when it came to the God portion, I let it naturally come through me. I let God speak through me. And in fact, even this book, uh, my book was really a wonderful spiritual practice where I wrote it on Saturday mornings from about 6 to 10 a.m. at Starbucks. And it was a wonderful spiritual practice because I didn't really know what was going to land on the type pages until I sat down and started. And then the last question, number five, where do you find God? Um, I find God everywhere. I mean, God is within me. God is walking with me. God is in my children. God is in, when I take a walk, I see him in the wind, in the sky, in the trees. God is everywhere. There isn't anywhere that God is not. So that's it. I thought I would pop on, share chapter six, respond to the questions. And again, just thank you for all the people that have um, read the book. And thank you for all the people that have written the reviews on Amazon and Goodreads. And please keep them coming. Again, it's a great way for others to take a look at the book and see if it's something that they would like to read for themselves. So thank you. Thank you very much. And I hope everybody has a great, great rest of the day wherever you are. Much love to you all. Take care, everybody.